get that whole thing about becoming pure consciousness? I mean, what, how do you do that? What does that, what does that really mean? What does that feel like? I don't get it. Okay. So this is, this is for me, this is how I've been able to understand it and what I, I know to be true because as I've implemented the formula, I get incredible manifestations across the board. So I always equate my conscious awareness with the conscious state where let's say right now I'm going to choose to look at my hand, which incidentally, what I'm about to tell you to do is a meditation, make no mistakes. Okay. I'm going to choose to look at my hand. I'm going to observe my hand. And up until a moment ago, I really didn't even feel my hand. Sure. I could feel myself holding my Kindle. I could feel myself um, doing things, but I really wasn't conscious, so to speak of my hand. But now that I'm holding my hand out and I'm actually looking at my hand and I am paying attention to the lines in my palm, I'm feeling my fingertips. Now that I can feel my fingertips, I actually feel a tingly sensation of energy on my nail beds, which just a second ago I didn't feel. Ooh, and now I'm starting to feel a little energy moving in my hands. My hands are getting a little warmer too. My fingers are now starting to, I could actually feel the pulse in my fingers from the fingertips, it's really pronounced now in my fingertips, going through my palm. I almost feel like uh, an energy pulling in the very center of my palm. Very interesting. Okay, that, believe it or not, is a meditation. That focus on my hand, while I was doing that, I did not feel the rest of my body. I wasn't feeling my butt sitting on this chair. I wasn't feeling my feet on the floor. I wasn't feeling my elbows on my desk. I wasn't feeling my left hand holding my Kindle. I was really unaware of all of those things. I was just the awareness, the consciousness. I was using my free will to take my conscious view of my hand and observation and sensation of the feelings in my hand. That is your conscious awareness. And that is the beginning of you becoming no one, nobody, no thing, nowhere, in no place, and in no time. Pure and simple. Now, if while I was observing my hand, for argument's sake, just to give you a point of contrast and to give you also definition, to give you a distinction so that you're able to differentiate your conscious awareness that has free will versus the organ of your brain. I always refer to that as it being on my left side. And my ego is also on my left side. It might be different for you. So you maybe for you, it switched around. But for me, my conscious awareness is on my right. And you need to pay attention to location because that's how your brain files information it's always it's your proprioceptor system which gives you a sense of orientation what's in front what's behind what's next to you memories are stored depending on where you were relative to whatever it was that happened if somebody was speaking to you on the left hand side that memory is stored and that energy is stored with an awareness of it being on your left, as opposed to it, if something fell from the ceiling and hit you on the head, then, then it's stored from this angle into your brain and so on and so forth. If something hits you from behind, again, it's stored behind you. So it has to do with the eight different sensory systems of the brain. We're not going to get into that right now. If you're interested in watching the Facebook live video that I did on, on, uh, how to do a neuro reset to get rid of pain. I explain a little bit more the eight different sensory systems. That's not what this is all about here, but it does tie into this. So I want you to be aware your consciousness is on the right for most of you, I think, and you're going to recognize that that conscious awareness, you can choose to focus on your hand, 
on a book, on a pen, that consciousness where it's not really arguing with it, you're just choosing to focus, that is your conscious, your conscious state. Thank you.